It really wouldn't be Bloons TD6 if there wasn't a new bug every once in a while and this bug involves Azili and is actually pretty simple. Let me explain. So once Azili reaches level 9, her attack removes Camo, Regrow and Fortify properties from non-Moab class Bloons and that's really important, the non-Moab class Bloons part. So it only works in small Bloons, right? But once she reaches level 16, that's when things start taking a really interesting turn because now the main attack removes Camo from DDTs. But here is where the bug steps in and if I just send in 5 DDTs, you guys are going to see it's not just the camo that gets removed, they also get defortified. The fortification gets removed from them, but it only works on the balloons around the main target. So she's set on first, and she's attacking this one, and everyone around, around that basically, around this DDT, got its fortification stripped off. Now hold on, this doesn't work only on DDTs, but it works on small mobs as well. So you guys are going to see how, except the main target, all these guys around her are getting their fortification stripped and this is the bug which essentially you know in blue's t6 terms means that you're removing literally half of the hp of around so in some rounds this bug is actually going to make blue's t6 literally 50 percent easier like literally it's just gonna remove the hp and that is what makes this thing so broken uh, and the only way that I, I thought that this was appropriate to test is by combining two game modes into one so normally we only play chimps mode but today we're playing abr the Alder and Bloons rounds in combination with Chimps mode. And we're doing this because ABR is basically the game mode, which you guys know it has. It's basically the fortified game mode, right? But also you guys might have realized that, you know, getting to like level 16, it's it's way off until, you know, this bug starts working. So that's why I wanted to do a lot of things differently actually today. So uh, we're going to go for an Energizer sub, which makes all the heroes earn 50% more XP while in range. And this is going to synergize super well, I think, not only with just, uh, you know, Azealia and and our need for a lot of levels, but also her other abilities, which is basically the Moab Hex ability, the most important one, which allows her to uh, to curse a balloon, and basically that balloon is just going to get destroyed. It, it's not going to spawn anything. And the hero herself, Azili, she is the Moab class balloon destroyer. So she destroys Moab class balloons because her attack does a lot of damage. Let me just actually switch this up to strong. We still don't have the money for the Bluntonium, by the way. That's why I'm not buying it. So we're going to have to do something for this round, it seems like. So let me just buy level 5, I guess, a little bit of extra attack speed. And let me set this sub on strong so it targets the purple balloons. And as long as they're not purple balloons, because we have the level 3 ability on cooldown, as long as they're just not purples, I think Azili should be able to... Oh, let me switch to first. Go back on strong just for a second, and I'll move back to first. And is this thing gonna be better? Oh my god, it's only like a couple of blue balloons. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'm, I'm just gonna buy the Dark Monkey. I'm sorry. Now, a great thing about Azili is that you guys are gonna see we're facing lead balloons. And she can pop lead balloons by herself. And she can see camel balloons by herself. So, for example, the camel lead balloon just coming up on round 24 is gonna get dealt with by herself. So, she is actually a really strong and a really niche hero. Okay, these guys are absolutely not budging as expected, to be honest. Uh, it's not just Azili that she's strong herself, but it's just the sub. It's just the 401 sub carrying versus the small balloons. And we're going to have round 40 in a second. But round 40 in ABR is a fortified Moab. And actually, the level that you need for Azili to start doing a lot of damage to fortified and just to Moabs in general is level 8. And we're just not going to have level 8. So my question is, do I buy this thing or do we buy some small towers? I think the proper response is to <laughs> just buy small towers. I don't know. Let's just see the damage, actually. Let's just have this small appear and let's see how much damage she does. So it's not going to be a lot because the DPS is weak. So it's like 1, 2 damage. Oh my god, that's really sad, actually. All right. So this thing is absolutely not going to work, and I'm really contemplating just buying the level 8. All right, so let's see how much of a difference buying this thing is going to make. So this is a super expensive level. I saved the, uh, the money just for this reason, by the way. So that's why we have $11,000. So let me buy this thing, and let's just check the difference of DPS. So we used to do like 1 to 2 DPS, and now let's see how much it's going to go. It's 20. <laughs> it, it went from 1 and 2 to 20. That's insane. This thing, is she's going to pop it by herself, isn't she? I mean, she doesn't need a level of support, does she? No, absolutely not. Oh my god, she just demolishes mob class balloons. Guys, is this gonna work by the way? Is the DPS strong enough? Oh, I need to unsubmerge this thing actually. No, there's a button. Never mind. Okay, I completely forgot. So, so I'm used to unsubmerging the sub by changing the targeting. But there's this new button which I, I keep forgetting that it exists. And yeah, Moab's in the 40s. I mean, you don't normally see this, but it's ABR. And on ABR mode, you guys know how it goes. It's a bunch of Moab's. And thankfully, we have a Zili for this reason. But I'm trying to kind of move her between strong and first. So she attacks the Moab. We get the DPS going. But then also, I want to get some damage going on to these ceramics. So let me see if this is going to work out. So let's have her on strong. Move her back to first and no, we need to do something about these guys. Let's just give both of them the Jungle Drums Village. Is this going to work out? I'm just going to have a Zillion Strong uh, and uh, let's just keep her on Strong for now because the DPS of the sub is going to be a little bit better now versus the Ceramics. 
So let's just keep her on strong for a second and let's just move her on first now. So she targets those guys. Move her back on strong, and I think this is oh yeah, that's that's everything that we needed. Alright, never mind. Okay, so let me just move on to Operation Buffing Azealia, at least a little bit. I'm gonna get a 320 alchemist, and I think that it, she's not gonna benefit immensely from this. Like, is it gonna be just you know the, the extra attack speed and stuff like that? But I think it should be enough, especially when we focus down these ceramics. So go on first and go on strong. I'm really trying to micro her attack between strong and first so that we just deal with the ceramic blooms, the fortified ceramics. That's really important. Now let's go back on strong to deal with these small balloons and then go back on first for a second go on strong and there are some balloons in the back so i'm gonna unsubmerge this sub and i hope i catch all of them yes i did let's submerge you and uh guys balloons td6 i mean <laughs> i mean we're trying we really are trying to get this this energizer sub going and 59 a bunch of 45 camo ceramics and once azili attacks them none of those properties apply <laughs> yep that's what she does so we're gonna make a lot of money in this round by the way so we are very close to the energizer and then once we get the energizer basically it's gonna deal with all the small balloons by itself and then it's gonna be azili dealing with the moabs as intended but she has a little bit of a trick up her sleeve and it's it's a huge bug <laughs> so let's just deal with this 45 is she gonna be able to beat this thing by herself is my question because i do want to save the level 10 ability so just have her attacking like this and let's see if these guys pop like right now that's very good okay so she, she i think she d45 like a huge chunk of those balloons and oh no i think we might need to use the level 10 i mean we're super close to your energizer and that's why i kind of want to save the abilities in case we need it for these early 60s but i'm just going to use the level 10 ability and i think that we're going to be fine a, a bunch of mobs in this round but i think that we are going to make the money right oh this is the perfect round to get this because we're not popping them so this is the perfect round to get the energizer on if we can make the money we're missing 300 dollars. this is like super close oh my god please don't don't make me lose on the last round before getting this thing. Let's just switch it to first and I'm just going to spam the button. We need 560. I'm spamming it. We got it. Okay. But no, a bunch of more. No, a bunch of small balloons leaked. I knew it was going to be like this. It's always like this, guys. So let's use the, uh, I guess these, these zebras, they're not doing anything. But I'm just going to use the uh, the hard stopper. And I'm going to switch Azili to first, actually, because I do want to take it slow. So let's pop these mobs one by one and just make sure we don't overwhelm ourselves. And uh, is that a good strategy is my question because I really don't want to be buying anything else. But it is always like this. That's insane. Let me just spam this thing. Yes, I got it. Okay. Okay, so we got it. Let's move Azili to strong, I guess. And I'm going to need that more. If this thing pops, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. But I'm going to need you to pop. Something leaked. DPS on it. And yes, finally, we get the Energizer, but most importantly, we get the increase. Let me just show you guys. So we get the increase 50% faster leveling for the heroes. And that is really, really, really important. But level 16 is incoming and it should happen in the next few rounds. So this, oh my God, this Moab Hex is just doing the Lord's work at this point. Because these rounds, guys, this is round 82. This is not even like a joke. <laughs> Have you played ABR past level 80? Yeah, this is what happens. This is insane. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to I'm gonna keep Azili on first, by the way, because the Moab Hex targeting follows the, the um Azili's targeting. So I kinda need to eliminate these guys at the front first. And I'm gonna keep her on first, I think. We're gonna let this ZMG for a second. I think I'm gonna keep it. I think that we can deal with the leftovers, right? We're really close to level 16. And we're gonna need this level, by the way, because this these rounds are just no joke at this point. Okay, so I just bought the level 16. We're missing about nine thousand dollars, but I there's a bunch of 45 BFBs on this round. So let's let's go like this. Let's first off, I'm gonna set a zillion strong. I'm gonna use the level 10 ability and I'm gonna move her back first because I want the Moab hacks onto the BFBs, but I want her attacking the uh, the small balloons. And then I also need to do something about uh, the sub just not being able to deal with. Let, let's just actually watch the bug. Oh my god, did you guys see it happening? Look at this thing. So all these mobs are supposed to be fortified because all the BFBs are fortified, right? But some of them are just. <laughs> Getting D45 on the spot, and that's the most ridiculous thing ever. Let's actually set her on close for a second so that we hit some of these ones as well. And yes, that's perfect. I love that thing. Let's just use the more hex because it's back off cooldown because the energizer. And yeah, this energizer is just not dealing with the small balloons, it seems like. So maybe we're maybe we're due for something like a solver just to help it out, right? So Azili is going to be the one that's going to be dealing with the Moab class balloons. And I just want to have something deal with these with these leftovers, basically. We don't have the level 10 ability. And I'm not going to use it, actually, because I do want to see the bug in action. So, essentially, this is an entire round with 45 balloons. And once these Moabs start coming out, yep, they are. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep, they're getting the 45. That's insane. Oh my god, where have pops? 472,000. And a lot of those pops are just probably not supposed to be happening <laughs> in general. And it's just gonna get worse as these rounds progress, right? All right, so a bunch of mobs again, 45 once, and let's just watch it go to town. By the way, DDTs in this round, so they're gonna get these are not 45 ones, but they are gonna be a lot of 45 DDTs on ABR. But I'm just, I'm just so happy to see these BFB spawning to mobs and then all of these mobs. Look at this thing, all of them just getting D45. So how, how should I have this target? And maybe like close because having her first is not exactly gonna be, gonna be beneficial at all times. So let's just move her back to first. I think it's time for us to use the level 10 the mob hex ability because that's a lot of 45 BFBs. It looks like. Now let's actually buy the other glue, just the uh, relentless one, because we do need these uh, these blues to kind of be clumped up together because Azili's attack works in an AOE, right? So you want to have these blues as close to as possible so that they get affected by the AOE. So I think I'm just gonna buy the glue and we're gonna leave it at that. But Zili is the only thing dealing with mob class blues so far. Now let's just watch. So a bunch of 45 BFBs again. The 40 again. You you barely see a 45 mob because it just gets removed. This is just ridiculous guys this is let me just check the pops on her so she was at 470 she's at 660,000 pops that is insane <laughs> just for a handful of rounds yes and again let's just watch her in action round 92 which is actually kind of a difficult round onto the normal gameplay but uh even even if in, in abr chimps you know a bunch of these 45 mobs and nope she does not seem to care it, it looks like nope she just removes the thing we're gonna keep checking her pops by the way because i think that at the end of this she's gonna have the most pops by far and let me just use the uh, the mob hex just kind of get rid of these UMGs. They're kind of annoying. Okay, 93, 45 DDTs, or actually, is it 45 DDTs? I don't know. They don't look that 45 to me. Nope. Nope, they're just gone. And a bunch of 45 the BFBs. Guess what she replaces is a, in a way, a shattering shell smore, but not exactly, because mortars cannot remove uh, the fortification from DDTs. You're gonna need monkey knowledge for that thing. And you cannot use monkey knowledge to chimps mode. So she is a little bit better in some ways in the shattering shell smore, I think. Yeah, this is just way too good, guys. This is not even funny how good it is. And her pops are 810,000. This is just insane. Okay, so a bunch of DDTs incoming. Uh, unfortunately, these guys are not 45, so this is just gonna be like a normal. Uh, she, she's gonna go to town to these guys, but a bunch of 45 mods, we need them. Or are they 45? Nope, they're not. Nope, I wanna check the pops onto her. Actually, actually, what does round 96 have? It's a bunch of. Yeah, everything's 45. Yeah, never mind. Let's just switch her to close and take a look at the pops. Guys, 900. She's almost at a million. This is insane. She's in the million pops. She's just just by removing the fortification. That's insane. Yeah, let's just keep her on close like this. So all these mobs are gone. And then I'm gonna need these BFBs. I think I saw them them being 45. Was I wrong about that one? Oh my god, these CMGs are gonna be an issue. Okay, so let's actually do this. Let's switch her to strong. I'm gonna use the mob hex and I'm gonna switch her back to close. And I'm not sure if there are any fortified balloons currently beneath them. But yeah, we do have a little bit of an issue. Let me actually move her back to first. Because these UMGs are just something that we're not dealing with. Yeah, so essentially, whenever a small blue walks into the range of the Energizer and the uh, glue, it just gets evaporated. But the thing is, we need to pop the UMGs <laughs> and basically all these blimps. And I think that just by using the Moab Hex, it, it helps out a lot. So let's eliminate a bunch of them. And I think we do have this thing. It, nothing is going to go over, right? Nope, we deal, we deal with this one. All right, so there we go. She is level 20 and round 98. Guys, let me start dealing with these UMGs first. So I'm going to have her on strong. I'm going to use the Moab Hex just to kind of start eating into the ZMGs first and we need to deal with the small balloons. We need to deal with the BFBs first. We need to defortify them. And then once they're defortified, we can just melt the small balloons with the energizer and the glue. But this is this is where the bug is gonna come in clutch because I don't think this is gonna be happening. Like if we don't have it. So, oh, let me actually just switch it to strong. Use the ability, get her back on first because the more hex was off cooldown. And let's just see how we're doing with these guys. So yeah, we are dealing with the small balloons, it seems like. And is it just the ZMGs? No, I see a bunch of BFBs actually, so let's defortify all of those guys and as soon as the mob hex comes off cooldown again i think you know what i think we have this thing just like the, this preemptive use of the mob hex which i started using this is my third ability by the way and with the help of the energizer sub yeah this is just basically what's going to deal with this entire round right and yes we absolutely deal with everything oh my god that's insane more dts by the way more 45 dts so I just kind of deal with these guys. I should probably have her on strong for this round because I do want her focusing down the DDTs and then it's going to be a bad balloon incoming. So yeah, but it's, it's not going to be a problem because we do have the Moab Hex, which is going to take down the bad by itself and just take a look at the pops, guys. One and a half million pops and a huge chunk of those one and a half million is just defortifying stuff, right? And yeah, this is going to be the fortified bad and she ended the game at, let's just check, 
1.6 million pops and all these art towers are like 400 on the sub and then 470 onto the glue so yeah even if you combine these two she still has like double the amount of these guys combined which just goes to show how insane she is not only versus mob class balloons but just removing the fortified state is just it just makes the game so easy right because like literally it, it makes balloons t6 50 percent easier on some rounds but yeah that's the new azili bug it makes her really op in some situations and that's gonna be it for this one hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'm gonna see you on the next one